Domestic partnership is a legal arrangement that provides unmarried couples with certain rights and benefits similar to those of married couples. In New York City, establishing a domestic partnership is a viable option for couples who want to formalize their relationship and gain access to benefits such as health care, family leave, and inheritance. However, navigating the legal requirements for domestic partnership can be challenging, which is why seeking the assistance of a family law attorney can be invaluable. Definition of a domestic partnership In New York, a domestic partnership is a lawful union recognized by state laws for couples who share a strong and committed personal bond. The domestic partnership law embraces the diversity of family structures, acknowledging same-sex, non-traditional, and other types of couples. Hence, New York acknowledges the legal rights of couples who choose not to marry but still maintain a committed relationship. Benefits and Rights of Domestic Partnerships When a couple registers as domestic partners, they gain certain privileges that would otherwise be unavailable to them. The specific nature of these privileges varies depending on the county or city where the couple completes the registration process. In New York City, for example, domestic partners are eligible for a number of rights, including 1. The ability to take family leave for bereavement and childcare if they are employees in the city. 2. Visit each other in city correctional or juvenile detention facilities. 3. Visit each other in facilities run by the New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation. 4. Be classified as a family member under the rules of the New York City Housing Authority. 5. Inherit tenancy or occupancy rights under the rules of the Department of Housing, Preservation and Development, and 6. Receive health benefits provided by the City of New York. Difference between domestic partnerships and marriage. There are several differences between domestic partnerships and marriages, including the legal recognition, benefits, and societal norms associated with each. 1. Legal recognition. While marriages are recognized by the federal government, domestic partnerships are not. 2. Benefits and Rights Although many benefits and rights are similar between domestic partnerships and marriages, there can be some disparities. 2. For example, domestic partners may not be eligible for the same federal benefits as married couples, such as Social Security survivor benefits or immigration rights. 3. Social Recognition Society generally places more importance and recognition on marriage as an institution, which can impact the way domestic partners are treated and viewed by others. 4. Religious Significance Marriage often carries religious significance, whereas domestic partnerships are strictly civil arrangements in most cases. 5. Commitment Level Marriage is typically perceived as a more significant commitment than a domestic partnership, as it usually involves vows and ceremonies. 5. However, the level of personal commitment between domestic partners can be just as strong. Eligibility Requirements for Domestic Partnership Domestic partnership is a legal relationship that offers some of the benefits and protections of traditional marriage to couples who live together but are not legally married. This type of arrangement is generally used by same-sex couples who are unable to marry under state laws, as well as by unmarried opposite-sex couples who choose not to marry for personal or financial reasons. To qualify for a domestic partnership, couples must typically meet several eligibility criteria, 
which can vary depending on the city or municipality where the couple resides. Age and Relationship Criteria The first eligibility requirement for a domestic partnership is that both partners must be of a certain age. This age requirement varies by jurisdiction but in New York, the state allows individuals 18 years or older to enter a domestic partnership. Residency and Proof of Cohabitation To establish a domestic partnership, the couple generally needs to meet specific residency requirements. This includes that the partners should both reside in New York or at least one of them is currently employed in the state. Filing the Domestic Partnership Application To register as domestic partners in New York City, you can start by scheduling an appointment on the city's official website. This step ensures you have a reserved time slot to visit the office of the city clerk and complete the necessary procedures. Before your appointment, you can expedite the process by submitting an application online through the city clerk online portal. Although this online submission is helpful, it is important to note that both partners must still visit the city clerk's office in person to finalize the application. On the day of your scheduled appointment, both partners are required to appear at the designated city clerk office together. Bringing the following items is necessary. 1. Acceptable forms of identification for both partners. IDNYC. Valid driver's license or non-driver identification card issued by the Department of Motor Vehicles, from the United States or any of its territories. Original birth certificate. Passport. Official school record. United States permanent resident card. 2. A payment of $35, which can be made using a credit card or a money order made payable to the city clerk. Receiving the domestic partnership certificate. Obtaining a domestic partnership certificate is an important step for couples seeking to formalize their relationship and access various rights and benefits. Once your application is processed and the required fee is paid, the clerk will provide you and your partner with this certificate. Changing or updating domestic partnership information. It is important to keep your domestic partnership information current with a relevant agency or registry, especially if you or your partner's situation changes. Whether you have moved, changed your name, or experienced another significant life event, it's essential to update your partnership records accordingly. Some common reasons to change or update your domestic partnership information include 1. Change in address. If either you or your partner moves or if you move in together, it is essential to inform the agency or registry. 1. This ensures that you continue receiving any correspondence related to your domestic partnership. 2. Name change. If either partner legally changes their name, you must update your domestic partnership information. 2. This may involve amending your domestic partnership certificate or registration. 3. Employment changes. If your partnership offers benefits such as health insurance or pension rights, you may need to notify your employer of any changes. Terminating a domestic partnership To terminate a domestic partnership, a termination statement must be completed and signed by both parties. 
This statement can be submitted online or in person at the office of the city clerk. However, even if the statement is submitted online, the process must still be completed in person. Getting the help of a skilled New York family law attorney. If you are considering entering into a domestic partnership in New York, it is important to seek the guidance of a skilled family law attorney who can help you navigate the legal complexities involved in this type of relationship.